It's Wendy. This is going to be a much different video than you're used to. Today I wanted to talk about hobbies and more specifically reading. So I have always been a big reader even before this whole pandemic thing. Um, my mom used to go to the library for me when I was really little and pick me up some books and then as I got a little bit older I really fell in love with the suspense thriller category although I read everything. I read nonfiction. I read fiction, mostly fiction, um, but I did want to talk about how um, it really can be such a wonderful escape and just a great hobby if you find yourself with a little bit of extra time these days. A lot of people I talk to, they'll say, I'm not, I don't, I don't read, I don't, I'm not into it, but I really feel you can get the same kind of satisfaction from a book that you can from a TV show you're really into, as long as you're emotionally invested. So, um, the one thing I'm most proud of is this. This is my Queen's Library card, books. Now you can just, I mean, under normal circumstances, you could go to your local Barnes and Noble or to even like a Target, they have a book section, and pick up anything really. Um, Amazon these days. Tess Gerritsen is an incredible author if you like medical thrillers. Uh, she actually writes the Rizzoli and Isles series. She is fantastic. You guys know that I'm a huge Harlan Coben fan. He has a little bit of humor with his suspense and actually just um, came out with a, I think it was a Netflix series that we finished called The Stranger. And I was watching it and I'm like, oh, I read this book. <laughs> really fantastic stuff. Um, so a couple of ways that you can read. Uh, and I've tried them all and I've had all the accounts. So one, obviously I said you can get a book delivered these days from Amazon. You can also listen to books. Couple ways to do that. So my Nana uh, down in Florida always has the best book recommendations. We tend to like a lot of the same stuff. But she has trouble with her eyes. So one of the things she likes to do is listen to her books. And the reason I got into this from the Queens Public Library is because of her. You can check books out. Audiobooks, you can check out books that are, you know, you can read them almost like you would on a Kindle. And it's free. Um, Upside is that they have so many different titles and you can kind of just browse. Basically, I've learned about new authors just because I will browse what is available. Now here's the downside. Say if there's a new book that just came out, it's a new release. There's probably a waiting list. They have a couple of virtual copies that are to be lended out. So if everybody wants them all at once, there's gonna be a little bit of a waiting list. In that case, when I knew the, the new Harlan Coben book was coming out, I went out and bought it on Amazon. I haven't gotten to it yet. But while I was waiting for that to arrive, I decided, and if I go to my account, nope, if I go to my stuff, I can um, show you that this is actually an audiobook that I'm currently listening to. It's called Dying Breath by Heather Graham, someone I've never heard of. Not Heather Graham, the actress, I assume. Uh, but so far, I'm on chapter four, I believe, and it's it's a good book. Maybe I'll check out Heather Graham again. Before this, I did the same process where I was just looking to see under the suspense thriller category what was available to check out at this very moment. And I found a book by uh, Kathy Reichs called Two Nights, and I really enjoyed that one as well. So there's obviously, and I mentioned before, there is the Kindle app. Now these you have to pay for, but they're digital copies and they're yours, you own them. There's also Audible, which is also linked to Amazon as well. And I used to do this once a year. I would reread the entire Harry Potter series because if you've never experienced it, I think his name is Jim Dale. His characters, it's like having someone read you a bedtime story. He keeps all these characters consistent too. And I think he actually holds some sort of title for that. I have to fact check myself, but it's an experience. So if you love the Harry Potter series as much as I do, I recommend you listen to them at some point in your life. Now might be a good time. So there's Audible and Kindle, which are basically the same thing, but one's for audiobooks. And the library I would check into. Um, my library has an app, a website, so I mean, even if you can't get to your library right now, you can maybe call them and ask them what the process is to sign up for this account. Uh, my library, the Queen's library uses this app called Access 360. I think there are a few that are pretty standard with public libraries. Just call your library, find out. My friend Alyssa actually just recommended this book called The Family Next Door by Sally Hepworth. I think after I finish the Harlan Coben book, I will be checking that one out. There's also an app called Goodreads that I recommend. 
which this one's amazing. It's basically the Facebook for books. And you can keep track of the books that you either want to read, have read, you can rate them. You can also connect with your friends and see what they're reading. And they have some really cool features as well, like recommendations, reading challenge, and more. So as you can see, reading, it's not just picking up a book and trying to get into it. There are different ways, there are different methods, and you can see which one speaks to you. I would love to know what your hobbies have been while you've been in quarantine. I know I've been making a lot of videos and doing makeup and stuff, but this is one of the other hobbies that I love and I wanted to share with you. So thanks for checking out my channel and I'll talk to you on the air.